The Lion King, Simba's first steps, at the end of the story, three surprise questions await you. Please subscribe, like and share the video. Thanks, in the heart of the sun-kissed pride lands, under the vast African sky, a joyful day was dawning. The golden rays stretched across the savanna, waking all the animals from their slumber. Today was a special day for a little lion cub named Simba. Today, he would take his very first steps, Simba was a fluffy bundle of energy, his soft mane just beginning to sprout like golden grass. He had been dreaming of this day for so long, watching his mother, Sarabi, and his father, Mufasa, move gracefully across the land. One day, I'll be just like them. Simba thought, his tiny paws wiggling in excitement, as he stretched and yawned, his mother nuzzled him gently. Are you ready for your adventure, little one, she asked, her eyes sparkling with love. Simba nodded, his heart racing with eagerness. I want to see everything, mom, with a warm smile, Sarabi said, then let's begin. Just remember, one step at a time, Simba took a deep breath and focused on his paws. He wobbled slightly, feeling the soft earth beneath him. With a little push, he lifted one paw and set it down. I did it, he squeaked, his voice bubbling with joy. But just as he was about to lift his other paw, he lost his balance and tumbled into a patch of fluffy grass. Oof! Simba laughed, shaking his head as he stood up. He looked around, spotting a friendly meerkat named Taiman watching with wide eyes. Hey, Simba! That was some impressive rolling! Taiman chuckled. You'll be running before you know it, encouraged by Taiman's cheer, Simba tried again. This time, he took two steps before tripping over his own paws. Sarabi was there to catch him, her warm presence comforting. You're doing great, Simba. Remember, every great lion starts with small steps. With determination shining in his bright eyes, Simba took a deep breath and steadied himself. He focused on a vibrant flower nearby. Just reach for the flower, he whispered to himself. He took another step, and then another, feeling the sun warm his back. I'm walking. I'm really walking. He exclaimed, his voice ringing with joy, suddenly, a gentle breeze rustled through the tall grass, and a group of playful baboons swung by, chattering and laughing. Look at Simba, one of them shouted. He's on his feet. Let's cheer for him, Simba's heart soared as the baboons clapped their hands and danced around him. Encouraged by their cheers, he felt a rush of confidence. I can do this. He roared. His tiny voice filled with pride. He took another step, then another, moving faster now, with his mother and friends cheering him on, finally, after what felt like the most exciting adventure of his life, Simba reached Sarabi. He stood proudly, his little chest puffed out. Mom, I walked. He beamed, his eyes shining like stars, Sarabi wrapped her arms around him, her heart full of joy. Yes, you did, my brave cub. This is just the beginning of many adventures to come. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden hue over the pride lands, Simba realized he was not just a little cub anymore. Today, he had taken his first steps toward becoming a great lion, just like his father. And with his family and friends by his side, there was nothing he couldn't do. The adventure of life awaited him, one step at a time, questions, what emotions do you think Simba felt as he took his first steps, and how did his friends and family contribute to his confidence, how do you think Simba's journey of learning to walk parallels the experiences of young children as they explore and discover their surroundings? What lessons about perseverance and support can we learn from Simba's adventure in taking his first steps in the Pride Lands?